Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video and guys today we're covering the news and it feels good to cover some news. So let's go right here. Uh, obviously we're gonna have maintenance on uh, Wednesday night so make sure you guys do everything before the game goes into maintenance. Then, uh, really really cool. Let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go Afterglow. Uh, which is basically the story event for Soul. So guys, that means Soul is going to be coming out this Friday. And uh, this story event is going to be out this Friday also. And it's going to give you a chance to get some limited time equipment. And also get those beautiful crisps right here. Which will help uh, level up your characters. Not only level up your characters, but more the abilities. So awaken those abilities to make them make your characters a little bit stronger and a little bit better and uh, we all know that the Sworn Six, the original, so Sid, Siege Art, Citra, Reagan, uh, Ignacio and Falka got their ability Awakening so you guys will be able to use those pure crisps, those all crisps and every single crisps to make those characters a little bit better and guys I gotta say go for Siege Art because Siege Art is pretty amazing. I didn't check the other ones fast fast but uh, I, I looked at Siege Art because I basically still use them a lot. And Folka, and they're pretty much amazing. So, part of the limited time equipment, we will be getting a 5-star Select Summon Ticket. Thumbs up. And uh, the uh, Acryl Rod, which is a 76 rod with attack 14. Enables Blazaga, deal ice damage to all enemies. So, if you guys are newer players, uh, this might help because the magic is pretty nice there. And having that Blazaga right there is pretty nice. Also, if you need to do ice damage, you'll be also getting the Float Sandals Accessory Magic 30 and MP 10%, which is pretty cool and pretty nice. So uh, these are going to be the character we will be able to uh, summon for. And I got to say, he looks pretty amazing. So Mr. Boss of Lapis Season 1, we will be making you join our party. So let's see how is the featured summon gonna go for us right here so uh let's go down here it's gonna be twenty-four thousand lapis which we're gonna be guaranteed a soul at the end which is pretty nice because we're getting eight plus two plus one which is pretty cool and uh same thing on step three eight plus two plus one with a guaranteed rainbow uh with that beautiful 90 percent chance to get a blue crystal right here uh yeah i wish this right here those cactuars would maybe maybe be times 10 but uh, times 3 is still pretty good. So if you guys are a big fan of Soul, uh, go for it. He's a little bit like TT, right? So he's a little bit like an upgrade of Transterra, which hits a little bit harder and stuff like that. But nonetheless, if you guys are a big fan of Soul, go for it. Because he's, uh, he's a pretty cool unit. I don't know. I'm still thinking. Maybe I'll go for him. Maybe I won't. Because I just got my Black Mage Golbez. And uh, I gotta say, I'm a big fan of Golbez. So it's gonna be really hard for me to summon for this unit right now. So bonus Soul Trust Moogle. Maybe I'll do this one. Limited to 10 times per player. You're going to pay 2,000 Lapis for a 5 plus 1. You're going to be guaranteed a 4 star. And you're also going to be guaranteed a 10% Moogle for Soul. Which is pretty, pretty nice. Uh, so that's not bad. And the rates are up. Is it 5%, 7%? We don't know. But uh, things are looking pretty cool here. I'm going to be looking into this one. Looking into this one. Then, let's see Soul. Uh, is Super Trust Master is pretty amazing. So, Elio Light. Magic 70, it's an accessory, enables Ever oh wait, Ever Shining Stone, which reduces the MP consumed by abilities, uh, which is really, really nice right here. The Trust Master is also really, really nice. Astral Robe, Magic 65, Defense 15, Spirit 42, and MP 10%. Yes, please. Featured abilities, Deflagrating Heat. Deal fire damage to all enemies and power up with consecutive uses. Uh, he has Execution which deals dark damage to all enemy and power powers up with consecutive uses. So a little bit. I think these ones chain with Chaos Wave. I have to look into it, but I'm pretty sure these ones chain with Chaos Wave. And the global upgrade right here, Sage's Wisdom. One use every five turn, reduce fire, light, and uh, dark resistance for all enemy. Now I checked this one on uh, JP, it was basically 100%. So uh, you basically reduce by 100% fire, light, and dark resistance to all enemies. Maybe we're getting a global upgrade, so it's going to be a little bit stronger. That imperil boosts own magic and enables quadruple obliteration, uh, obliteration for four turns. Ooh, that looks pretty good. So we're gonna be looking, we're gonna be waiting for the data mine on this guy. But obviously, guys, like always, uh, take note that things can change till the last minute because we have to say that we're not official sources. 
but uh, things can change. But nonetheless, he's looking pretty mighty damn cool. Then, the 4 star that goes into 6 star, if you guys pull her or him, whatever, Ilyark, maybe it's a him. I don't know, I'm not sure, maybe it's a her. Well, if you pull this character right here, the Trust Master is look, looks pretty good. So, it's a helm, defense 40 and magic 52. So, that's pretty cool, the helm, uh, having magic 52. Especially for a guy like uh, Goldbaz, this is going to be pretty, pretty nice. Uh, featured abilities, we don't need to look into it because those 4 stars go into 6 stars. Mm, not that crazy. We got Eclipsa, which is another 4 star to 6 star. The Trust Master Reward, Phantom Force. Uh, boost power meters when setting an Esper by 40%. It's pretty nice. And the last one, Pertira, uh, Trust Master Reward, Life of the Laboratory. Nullify Confusion and boost attack by 40%. So this is actually not that bad. This one is pretty good, especially if you guys are newer players and you don't have that crazy of a Trust Master. Well, uh, if you're going to be pulling for Soul, uh, this, this is pretty nice because you might be getting a lot of her and uh, you're going to be getting an easier time to get that Trust Master for your physical damage. And having that Confusion nullified, uh, that's really, really nice. Then, because Soul is coming out, Obviously, they're going to hit us with something like this. So you're going to be fighting the Wicked Moon. The Bloody Moon is coming back. So let's go right here. A new quest awaits. Family of Four uh, has appeared starting on the 12th. So basically Thursday. This is going to be up on Thursday. Let's see what uh, Mr. Kupo has to say right here about the Bloody Moon. <laughs> Beware of the uh, Apostle, which possess eight different elements as they will reappear several turns uh, later, after being defeated, Kupo. It is recommended to use non-elemental magic attacks in order to inflict damage to the Apostle. Regardless of their elements, Kupo, Bloody Moon will show its true form once it has been shown sufficient power. Once that happens, if any Apostle with opposing, uh, with opposing elements exists at the same time, they will unleash dangerous attack. So be mindful of their elements while taking them down. Now, I remember doing this. Uh, I basically did this with Renoa. And uh, it was pretty crazy because I triple cast Apocalypse. And uh, just, I think I did Chaos Chain. So basically, get those TTs ready. If you guys don't have soul, you're going to be able to build up your TT and just leave it in your friends. All right. So make sure you uh, your companion settings, you put Transterra if you have her. Just build her up. Put her there because a lot of people are going to want to do this. And uh, don't forget to do that, guys. Because companion settings, really, really good. Uh, the initial completion reward, we get 100 Lapis. Then uh, the big reward right here, complete the quest. Artemis Boat FFB, attack 142, magic 170, two-handed weapon, which is pretty, pretty nice. Obviously, you can't really dual wield bows because I don't know how that would. I, I don't know how this would work, shooting bows with two hands. But Bow of the Huntress, boost physical and magic damage against beast. Uh, that would be really nice if it would be like 75%. Let's hope for the best on this one because... There's not a lot of bow users, to be honest. Uh, maybe Ang, but even though he's more of attack, so there's no point in magic. Whatever. Uh, mission completion reward: get a 10% move goal. Ooh, attack with foes elemental weakness six times or more. Evoke an Esper, you get 250 trust coins. Finally, it's not 50, and defeat Bloody Moon with magic. Five star select summon ticket. So you guys have this. I know you guys are gonna kill that moon, nice and easy. Then we get one more fight. Uh, in the uh, Dimensional Vortex, a familiar of four appears again, so this is going to be on Thursday. Uh, Empress Supra Supreme Morgana is coming back. Powerful woman who is absol uh, absolutely convinced that she is the embodiment of righteousness. So let's go right here. Kupo, what do you have to say about this girl? We're going to check that out. As beautiful as she is dangerous, Morgana uses powerful elemental attacks that can reduce your party's resistance against different elements, Kupo. Make sure to exploit her weakness against light and uh, to prepare your party's elemental resistance before facing her in battle, Kupo. Watch out for her powerful arcane explosion ability, which deals a large amount of fixed da magical damage to all her enemies, Kupo. So this is going to be one of those that you're going to do uh, the pro, elite, and legendary. And the more you finish it with different characters... Well, basically, you'll be getting more rewards at the end. So, obviously, you get some unique equipment. I'm not going to go all, over all of them, but basically, you guys can see exactly what it is right here. Uh, we're getting some cool stuff. The Imperial Robe, the Imperial Crown, and we get some magic and spirit. 
And obviously, the more you put them on your character, well, you can see that the boost of magic and spirit can go really, really high, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. I love when they give that, especially for newer players. It's a little bit easier for them to build their characters, which is really nice. Then this is also really, really cool. Scepter of Justice boosts magic by 60% when equipped with a rod. This is really, really cool. And this one, Legendary, complete the quest. Engulfing Light. Boost magic by 80% when equipped with a light weapon. Elemental weapon. Now, this is really, really good. This is really, really good because uh, if I'm not mistaken, let's go see Elena right here. I want to check something else. I want to check something. Elena! Uh, I want to make sure I'm saying the right thing. Is it? I want to see if her weapon is a light elemental weapon. Is there a light elemental? There's no element attached to it. Damn it! I was gonna say if there's light elemental weapon, uh, light element attached to that weapon, that would have been pretty good. But uh, nonetheless, it's still a pretty good uh, material. Just uh, maybe uh, Aurora, Aurora Freya. I don't know. I still have a hard time saying that name. But that thing is really, really nice. Boost magic by 80% when equipped with a light weapon. I know we will find the use for this. But this is really, really nice. And uh, the more you fight, basically you get those bonus units. And they get bonus stats during that fight. So make sure you guys bring your Elena. Set her up in your companion settings if you guys have her. Or even Aurora Frivia. Just basically, uh, basically, basically, put some characters with light elemental weapons on there. And uh, we're going to be a-okay. Maybe Esther, put some light elemental uh, attack on her. And she's going to be a-100. Then that's all for the news, guys. Like always, thank you so much. That one's a little bit shorter video, but uh, we're just covering the news that we got today. So, like always, leave a like down below, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.